Hey everybody, before we begin our children's message, I just want to remind those of you who are in rising first through fifth grade that our Sunlight Mini Camps will be starting on July 6th. We're going to have four separate camps during the month of July, each one identical, so you can pick the week that works best for you. We're going to be celebrating friendship with Jesus and with each other. Everything will be outdoors. There is no cost for the camp. So make sure that you are registered. Just go online and pick your spot before they are all gone. Now, during the summer months, we are going to be learning about the book of Philippians. Now, we find Philippians in the New Testament of the Bible. It was written by the Apostle Paul while he was in prison. Philippians is sometimes called the letter of joy. So how could Paul be joyful when he was sitting in a dark, dungy prison? Well, that's what we're going to find out. So let's start out today with a puzzle, a 1,000-piece puzzle. During this stay-at-home time, one of the things I've been working on is jigsaw puzzles. I finished one up last week, so now I am starting a new one. I've got all my puzzle pieces sorted by color. I've got my green pieces, my purpley pink pieces, my dark and red pieces, my light pieces, and my blue pieces. And I've started to work on the border, and this is what I've gotten done so far. And when I'm all finished, this is what the puzzle is going to look like. So do you think I'm going to finish this puzzle this afternoon? No way. It's going to take weeks, probably months, for me to get this puzzle finished. But I can promise you this, I won't stop until every single piece is exactly where it's supposed to be. Maybe that's how you feel about a puzzle that you're working on, or a picture you're drawing, or something you're building with Legos. Well, my friend, that is just how God feels about you. God has a finished picture in his mind of what he created you to be. And God is working on you to help you become that very special person. Trust me, what he has in mind is great. It's better than anything you can imagine. And day by day, bit by bit, God keeps adding to your story. And here's the really good news. God won't stop until you are everything he knows you can be. Now, how do I know that? It says so right here in the book of Philippians. Let me read Philippians chapter 1, verse 6 to you. God began a good work in you. That's what it says. God began a good work in you. And I am sure. Now, did you hear that word? We're not hoping. We're not guessing. We're sure. I am sure that he will carry it out until it is completed. And that will be on the day that Christ Jesus returns. Look, God is never going to give up on you, never get tired of you, never walk away from you, never think for even one minute that you aren't worth all the trouble. And even when bad or hard things happen, you can know that God is still working on you. As one young person said, God don't make no junk. So be joyful! God is working on the one and only, totally terrific, you. And when he's done, people are going to tell you that you look a lot like your heavenly father. Oh yeah, this is going to be good. Will you pray with me? Dear God, thank you that you have big plans for each one of us. Thank you that you are working to make us all what you know we can be. Thank you that you never give up on us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, everybody, and I'll see you next time.